Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this logo and they're trying to copy the recycle. And I could, you could do this exact one, but he's trying to do this. But if you look, uh, some of his edges are not right. I'm really happy he's following along with the, I think I'm only one that really calls it a yellow box trick. But here it is, and it is perfect. And I think this is the second video I've done today on this subject of finding a better logo. And I've actually even put some interactive fill tool. You don't have to do that. Uh, but I, I can't remember if this gentleman prints or engraves. And since he's doing color, I think he wants to print it. But I just went and typed in recycle logo vector. They're not going to be vector, but they're going to be really sharp. And then you go to tools and type in large or select large. You could actually select in black and white and you're going to get only black and white. And I picked this one right here. I don't know how big it is. This particular deal doesn't let me uh, find out the size or I'd, I guess you probably can, but I'm just going to copy image. I'm going to go back to Corel. It's going to, because it's a large vector, it's going to be huge. Well, it didn't come out that big that time. Uh, but if you look, it's got a white background. I don't even know if this is the one I picked before. We'll go put the yellow box trick order back a page and you can see it's like that. So we'll grab the logo. It's really already pretty little. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. Go to trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art. Just does it really quick. Say, okay, move it over to the side. Now, for some reason, 99% of the time, when you move, you'll move your real one, your trace one, but this one, it didn't. So we're going to grab this, go up to object group and ungroup. And then we're just going to hit the white spots and do that right there. Now, uh, we don't need the yellow box anymore. If he wants that green, uh, that particular green, you could go to the smart field tool and get the eyedropper and take a sample of that green and then put it in the spots. Now this one's a little bit different than he was trying to make. And you could do that uh, very easily. And he'll let me know if he does. Uh, it's quite easy. Uh, we might even be able to show it off right here maybe by moving it. And then you get that separation. And then you could put a outline around it and make it a little bit thicker that's too thick so you could do it either way uh, let's do like four and you would have the same um, look as what he's trying to do but it look how sharp and clean it is but i kind of like my and especially if he's going to print it i know nothing about printing i don't know if this will even work is to get the interactive fill tool and go into the green and swipe up and then put some darkness in there. That didn't work. Let me click on that item first. Interactive field tool, go in there and now go up to a black and then you don't want too much black and you can you know, do anything you want to with it. You could put a little bit more green in it. You could actually get an, well, I don't have that green, but you could get a green and make a green, make it a little bit lighter. Uh, but I like, if I was going to print it myself, I would want this uh, to make it kind of look like it's folding. And then just do that. So always deselect. And I don't know why that looks so funny. Oh, I actually hit it with the interactive fill tool a while ago. So let's back up where I, I actually has clicked on that. So click on, always click on the spot with the pick tool before you get your interactive fill tool and then you'll go to that one. And you could put just, you know, you could use a little gray. It doesn't have to be black uh, just to give it some darkness and you could bring this in. Uh, I actually like going with black because then you can uh, adjust it quite a bit. That looks pretty good. Now you cannot, in this particular case, you cannot rotate it to get the same exact one. You could, but it would take more worth than it's probably work, worth. So just now, here we'll go again. Get, pick your part first, interactive fill tool, 
and just wipe toward that and get your black and put it in that hole. That looks pretty good. If I was going to print it, that's the way I would do it. But I know nothing about printing. I don't know if printing would even, if it pick up those darkness and lightness. But you'd want them all kind of the same. But that looks pretty good if we look at it in the yellow box trick. Um, it actually looks like those recycle. You know, the recycle symbol is synonymous with like a never, never ending knot. It just keeps going around and around trying to recycle. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.